So we can't give you a exact welfare function that's going to point you to the best way to organize society. Sorry, didn't do it. But we can give you a little bit of guidance as economists. Suppose we've got Alice and Bob here. And we've got 100, we've got 50, 50, and 100 again. Suppose we're comparing these two options. Both of them have 50, or both of them have 100. All of these different frameworks uh, would agree that the both having 100 option is better than the both having 50 option, okay? And both of them would also agree with things that are like une uneven, but better than 50-50. So for example, uh, if we are here, this is a situation where Alice has more than 50 utility, Bob has more than 100 utility. We don't know if this is better than this. That depends on how we balance uh, everybody's, uh, that depends on how we kind of weigh inequality, but we can at least agree that that option is better than this option, okay? Because both people are better off. And that's kind of the criteria that we're gonna take. It's gonna be kind of like a non-satiation. Oh, I don't have room to write there. It'll be like a non-satiation rule for welfare, okay? Which is that anything that gives more to one person without sacrificing uh, for anyone else is preferred weekly, okay? More is better. So whether we have perfect or perfect substitute style welfare function, which is a straight line, whether we have the polar opposite of perfect complements, Rawlsian utility, all of those guys disagree on what's going on in here, but they all agree that this box over here is where we wanna go. We wanna be moving up and to the right, okay? And this criteria is sort of the formal thing we call is Pareto efficiency. And this is what, as economists, we try to give you, okay? Um, Pareto, a Pareto efficient outcome is an outcome where it is impossible to uh, increase, oh, you can't see that. Impossible to increase uh, utility or the quantity of some good for one person without decreasing it for another. Okay, so this is a, uh, a goal to strive towards, okay? If, it's in, if, it's, if we are in a Pareto inefficient outcome, if it's something is not Pareto inefficient, or efficient, that means it's possible for us to make one person have more utility uh, and not make anyone worse off. And that, we argue, is sort of preferred under all these different moral frameworks, okay? That's not gonna help us figure out exactly which one, but at least we can rule out a lot of options, okay? We can say that uh, if everyone would be happy, mo happier moving from X to Y, like, uh, then we should move that way. Or if we can move from X to Y and one person prefers it, but no and nobody else is, and everyone else is indifferent, that's also good. So what we're going to do in the next video is talk about in the context of sort of production functions, preferences, and endowments of natural resources, and uh, you know other inputs, what criteria are required to at least achieve Pareto efficiency?